Alright guys, it's Brian here again today doing my Shave of the Day video. Um, and today on uh, Shave the Man, uh, no, not Shave the Man, sorry, the Shave Market. Uh, Chad Irish, um, one of the administrators there, uh, had come up with the idea of doing a budget-friendly or frugal Friday uh, shave. And so today, uh, that's what I did, I participated in that. I love those kind of themed um, uh, shaves that uh, happen sometimes in the, in the groups on Facebook. Um, Chris Bailey has done a number of them uh, honoring certain artisans and uh, it's it's always fun to be a part of that and uh, so today uh, well, again was in the shave market and it was uh, kind of a frugal Friday type thing. One of the things when you get into wet shaving I think and this is something that in my uh, 12 days of Christmas or, or sorry, 12 days of shaving uh, series that I'm doing uh, I'll talk about a little bit but um, you know, when you, you get into to wet shaving, it can be kind of overwhelming and there's just so many different choices, but you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a great shave. You don't. Uh, I love the Marfin brushes. I would love to own one, but you don't have to spend $300 plus on a brush. You just don't. Um, you know, some of these razors that, that are, you know, uh, you know, over $100, beautiful, but you don't have to spend over 100 bucks to have a great shave. Um, you know, the, the Martin DeCondre's soaps, over $70 for a tub of that. Uh, you don't have to spend that much money to have a great shave. Now, if you can afford it, great. And I've never tried Martin DeCondre. I've never tried, you know, the higher end, uh, the razors. But the guys that have them, um, they, they will admit that there isn't a lot of difference between the high end expensive razors and, and the budget ones. So, with that being said, let's get right into what I use today for my, um, my, my shave. All of this gear that I had today cost me less than 30 bucks. Less than 30 bucks. Less than just about what you're paying for one packet of razor blades, the five disposable razor blades that you get for a Gillette Fusion or whatever it is that they're selling these days. You can have all of this stuff and have much, much, much better shapes. So, all right, let's get into it. Today, my Samoa 1438, this brush, great brush, love it, love it, love it, $17. Today for a razor, I used a star double-edged razor. Now, this is not a huge collector's item. I picked this up, I think, for five bucks at a flea market. And quite honestly, I probably overpaid at that price point. Uh, but $5 for this razor. And quite honestly, this is one of my most comfortable shavers. It's not very aggressive. Um, it's, you know, the blade gap isn't much. The blade exposure isn't really a whole lot. Um, but it is just an absolute super comfortable shaver. I, I, I can't say anything bad about it. Um, it's, it's not the best construction. It's, it's just a screw off, uh, you know, three, three piece razor. Um, but it, it shaves really, really well. Uh, in here, I uh, used a Big Ben blade. Now, Big Ben blades are not ones that you hear a lot about. Um, in fact, I got mine as part of a sampler pack, I believe. And uh, I actually went and looked up how much they cost. At Maggard's, it's a dollar for five of these, I believe. So, 20 cents a blade. Not the cheapest blades out there, and you may be able to buy them in larger quantities and get them cheaper than that. I'm sure you, you can, but it worked very, very well. I think this is my second um, shave on this on this blade, and very comfortable shave uh, in this razor. So all together, razor and, and a blade, $5.20. For soap, Williams. Williams Mug Shaving Soap cost me, I can't remember if it was 79 cents or 99 cents. To be on the safe side, I went with 99 cents. It may have been 79 cents. I picked this up a couple of years ago. I was on vacation down in New Jersey. I happened to run into um, a, a supermarket, saw it, and I'm like, yeah, I got to pick it up. You can find this everywhere, and it is uh, just a classic. To me, this and the aftershave that I use today are... Two things that no shave dent is complete without. Now, I don't didn't love, love, love the scent on this. It's a citronella scent. It's kind of like shaving with a citronella candle. But now that I've had this for uh, almost a year and a half now, um, 
the scent has really, really faded, and it's just a soapy scent. It, it's it's not anything great, but it's not anything offensive, and it performs very, very well. It can be a little bit tricky to lather if you're just getting used to it, but the trick on this is take the puck, drop it in some hot water while you're taking a shower. When you get out, it's going to be softened up, and it is going to load with a very thick, creamy lather, and it will perform very well. If I had to shave only with Williams soap for the rest of my life, I would not be a heartbroken man. This stuff is that good. Um, it's cheap, but it performs very, very well, and there's just nothing bad to say about it. Um, you know, there's other soaps that I have that maybe perform better um, that, that I have that I, I love the scents on, uh, but it, for 99 cents or 79 cents, whatever it is I paid for it, you can't go wrong with it. And then finally today, I finished up with Panade Clubman. Um, again, to me, no den is complete without this. Uh, $5 for this large um, bottle of, of aftershave, and it's just a classic. So again, today, $17 brush, $5 razor with a 20 cent blade, 79 cent or 99 cent, we're gonna say 99 cent, um, soap, $5 aftershave, bringing my total in a little over, I believe, $28, $28.19 .19, if my math is right, for today's budget-friendly shave of the day, and it was awesome. Nothing bad I can say about it. Have a great day, everybody.